Hello amigos, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a review of all the bikepacking gear I took in my trip in France and Spain. You can find the full video of the trip in my YouTube channel. As you can see, I've done some modifications to my bike. I added a new handlebar, also some aero bars to increase comfort. So I will let you know how this one goes. Uh, all the items and gear you can find a uh, link in the description below. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, it's all things that I bought myself, that I tested and I thought would be suitable for my trip. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start having a look at my saddle bag. This is an Epidura Expedition bag of 17 liters. As you can see, it's attached here to the seat post and also to the saddle. So I'm gonna take it off and show you what is inside. You just take off the straps. I like to do first the ones on the saddle. Now it's a bit heavy. The 17 liter ones is waterproof, and I also like the brand because they do things like the revive program, I think, where they give second life to bags and samples that they have. So it's also a good way to reduce your environmental impact. So let's have a look inside. Back here has some bungee cords. As you might have seen in my video of the trip, I used it to carry baguettes and bananas, so it's quite useful. And here you can put your light, so I like to strap my rear light here. So let's have a look. This is normally how I pack the bike. It's open like this. The bag opens that way. So the first item will be my Merrell shoes. These shoes are really good, are barefoot shoes, really lightweight and also antibacterial so I take them as off the bike shoes and they are easy to pack, they are also very flexible, you need to pack them and very lightweight. Then we have, I always like to carry two pair of big shorts because you never know if it's gonna rain and as a female, yes, in, there might be a more risk of uh, saddle soreness so I like to take two pairs of big shorts. So this is uh, uh, the Pearl Izumi Expedition, I think. It has some pockets, but I will do another video about big shorts for a woman because I think uh, there's not much information out there. I had to try like a million brands to find some that were somehow suitable for me. So here we have uh, the Osprey dry bag that I use to sort my casual clothes. Also ensures to have a uh, another layer of waterproofness even if the saddlebag is waterproof my Castelli summer base layer which I didn't have the chance to use because it was too cold but I still use for sleeping then this is ah yes <laughs> I use this one quite often off the bike this is the Rafa base layer this is a winter base layer. I actually used it off the bike every time I had to go to a supermarket as a casual t-shirt or for dinner. Then we have here, yeah, I didn't bring any like heavyweight pants or anything. I decided to go for running shorts because they are lightweight and easy to carry. Back small, so that's my choice for casual clothes. Also quite functional. This is a must-have item. This is the best rain jacket I ever tried. This is the Gore-Tex Cherry Dry. This is really, really good, really keeps you dry. The next item will be my waterproof gloves, some overshoes in case it rained. Luckily, it didn't rain that much, so I was lucky in this regard. Then I had also some leg warmers, arm warmers, uh, my RCC cycling cup. That was quite useful during the morning when it was cold and also to keep the hairstyle in place. So I like it. I took uh, two pairs of socks. So once this one's yellow and another one that matched my jersey. I like matching socks. Oh, now we get into the heavy gear. So we have here the Osprey Lightweight Super Parkable Backpack. This item 
was really, really useful, even more than I expected because when we had the mechanical break, we had to rush to a bike shop and just pack everything as we could. So we just stuffed everything into this backpack and rode to the bike shop to get it repaired. Otherwise we wouldn't have made it in time. Ah, yes. This unit, if you are traveling by bus or by train in France, so to be able to take your bike, I actually took a, a bus from uh, Amsterdam to Lyon when we started the trip there and I pack my bike inside there so they allow you to take it as luggage. Normally I would recommend you have to book extra luggage for them to allow you to take your bike and you have to disassemble it a little bit so the handlebar and the wheels get it into the back and then you can take it in buses, in trains and even inside the hotels when there was no storage for our bikes. We packed them here and we were allowed to take them to our rooms. Also a must have. This is the Patagonia puffy jacket. It is great, keeps you really warm, it's super lightweight and uh, it's great also off the bike. I used it all the time when it was cold at night. I just put it as a casual jacket and also it will help you if there's an emergency or you need to sleep outside. You just put it on, put the hoodie on and it really keeps you warm. Yes, this is the repair kit, so that's something I hope I didn't have to use, but I had to use a couple of times. So we have like um, three or four punctures. My tires are uh, tubeless, but still, I carry an inner tube, a mini pump. This is a lock, just in case you want to park your bikes outside a restaurant or a cafe. Then we have the multi-tool, always useful. And then we have a couple of spares, tire levers, etc. So a small repair kit, nothing really big because uh, you know there were a lot of bike shops on the way. First aid kit, so you have all the kits for like uh, if something happened, like wood healing, emergency, blanket, ibuprofen, the essentials really. And that's it. So that's everything I have in my saddle bag. So it fits quite a lot. And the secret, uh, it moves a little bit when you get out of the saddle. So it bounces a little bit. But the secret I would say to avoid uh, moving is really attach it strongly and uh, pack it really, really compressed. So I try to pack everything uh, with the weight down and then the lightest thing at the top. So that's my saddle bag. Now let's have a look at the frame bag. It attaches here to the top tube, here, here, and also here I put some protective tape to protect my frame. So this is the, again, the Apidura Expedition series, which is waterproof. This is the 4.5 liters. I couldn't take any one that, uh, any other bag that was bigger because my frame is quite small, it's a 54 frame, so, but I still had some space to, to put some bottles. I'm gonna take it off now. So this is my frame bag. And now we're gonna have a look at what is inside. Inside the frame bag I got First, uh, my chummy cream, I like to have it at hand. It's also really useful to avoid uh, saddle soreness. Uh, then I like to keep also a pair of uh, clip protectors in, in case you need to walk uh, to get some breakfast or to the supermarket to avoid your clits from breaking. Then a pack of Kleenex, always important. This is a power bank. I believe this is... Yeah, the Anker power bank is really good. Uh, it also keeps for quite long, has quick charging, so always good to have a spare backup for all your electronics. Then my toothbrush, always important. Uh, sunscreen, this one is really good because it really stays in place and if you sweat, it doesn't irritate your eyes. So this is my favorite one. Uh, some shampoo then a light in case it gets dark 
a couple of bars i like these ones are my favorite uh, then we have uh, something for the supplements so i like to take a couple of supplements like my magnesium or maybe some electrolytes then we have here a small light normally i put this uh, real light in my apidura bag at the small hole i show you before then a face mask in covid times you need to carry it uh, then uh, we have a hair bra for my long hair oh. <laughs> lip protector because it was a little bit sunny and my lips get really dry a charger like a usb so i have my gopro uh, kind of shorty is it's quite convenient to be honest it can become in a selfie stick or you can also use it as tripod so i did a lot of the drive-by shots with this one the gopro hero 10 i believe this is the latest one so i bought it because i wanted uh, something that you could uh, interchange the lens and also that it had this uh, hyper smooth so it would correct a little bit if you were not uh, filming really stable so this is my new camera and this is what i have in this compartment of my frame bag then it has another compartment on the other side which is quite useful to sort out your things so here i like to carry my phone and some of my documents uh, then also cables so things that are more like uh, essentials like phone documents cell phone keys so this is what i carry in my frame bag so we're gonna have a look at the equipment that I took in my handlebar. It's a Cephi spy mirror is called. It was really useful because I'm not used to cycling in traffic anymore living here in the Netherlands. So it was nice not having to turn around all the time to check if there were cars coming. It gives you quite a good visibility. Then we have here the GoPro remote. We have here on my stem mount which attaches to my stem. We have my Garmin Edge and then here I used to attach my GoPro camera. In terms of what I was wearing on the bike was this. Yes, so this is the equipment that I wore on the bike. So I had the Gore-Tex base layer, which is windproof. I had uh, this Rafa protein jersey. Then I had my Oakley Sutro which you can find a review in my channel. I really like these ones. And as I mentioned before, I added some grippers here that keeps them in place. Then I had my specialized helmet. This is the Evade. It's really comfortable, so also easy to, to put. Really like it. Then I also use some mitts to keep a little bit of comfort in my hand again thanks for watching so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you like this video and i will upload next week another video of the review of the beep shorts so if you are interested see you soon and ride the bus